What's going on, fellas? It's your boy B with the beard, your beard connoisseur. On this episode, I want to talk about beards and bow ties and scents. You know, clone. That's what I want to talk about for your Valentine's Day. All right? So this is what we're going to talk about this episode. Now, when we talk about bow ties, bow ties are very elegant. It's classy. Um, they're very, uh, there's some sophistication. Um, it makes you stand out as well as it shows that moment of being important to you. And it's a conversational piece. Now, there's a variety of different bow, tie, bow ties, and I'm going to talk about those different types of bow ties. I'm also going to talk about when you, hold up, I'm missing something. Voila, there we go. Now we're talking. Yep, and we're talking bow tie. You know, I had to put one on for you fellas. Right now, now we're talking. So, now the cipher's complete now. Now we can talk bow ties. I'm in bow tie mode. All right? Got me a nice bow tie. This bow tie right here, this is a nice bow tie you can wear. Um, you can flex it. You know, you can wear it. It can be a black tie affair. Um, and also, you can switch it up. You know, really, there's no rules to fashion. <laughs> That's out the door. You know, there's really no rules. You can mix and match. Just make sure that uh, you're comfortable. Because at the end of the day, the clothes, like they say, the clothes don't make the man, the man make the clothes. So it's your confidence that you exude. That's the word I'm looking for. It's the confidence that you exude. It's going to show through no matter what. However, don't, you know, how to do with the beard. So first thing first, beards and bow ties. All right. And we're going to get to the clone, how to get fresh, how to smell fresh for your Valentine's date. So when you're wearing a bow tie and, and you have a beard, so this is what you want to do. All right. So, so your beard don't interfere because you got to think about it like this. Let me break it down before I get to how to, how to make sure, how to blend your beard and your bow tie together. One, um, if you're going on a Valentine's dinner, Valentine's date, your dinner on, your, on Valentine's, right? For Valentine's. One, you want to make sure that it's appropriate for where you're going. So uh, if, you, if you, you may not want something... Um, that if you're going on a casual date, if you're going somewhere really nice and wearing what you would wear to a black tie affair may not be the great look. You know, you may want to pick something um, either cotton, um, you know, because it's more casual. Um, you may want to put pick like a wool or you can pick um, um, a linen or a um, this various other types of bow ties. It's so many bow ties. This one right here, as you can tell, this is a leather. This right here, this is a leather bow tie. This is a leather one. This is really nice, elegant, sexy bow tie. So you can mix and match it, put it all together. Um, and you can just pick and choose what's right and a great fit for the setting. If you want a, a certain type of uh, uh, pattern, if you want a certain type of pattern, um, you can pick and choose different patterns. So, for example, you know, this is more of a at the polka dot pattern so this right here you have to tie and there's different types of bow ties too there's some where for example this here you have to tie so and it's very classy tying a bow tie this is really nice this is one of my favorites um this is so this so much this is my favorite i had to get two of them yeah i keep mine in plastic bags had to get two of them so there's different types. So you can wear this as a casual, um, you know, depending on what you're wearing with it that night. If you like red, it all depends. You got polka dots. Um, these are ones you have to know how to tie. Learning how to tie a bow tie, it's, it's essential. You should you should know how. You should learn how. If you don't know how, if you do know how, then you you've mastered the bow tie. Another one. Let's just say if you're lazy, you don't got time. To be sitting there learning how to tie a bow tie, because it does take some time and practice, then you can just grab a clip on. You can just do a clip on. They got clip ons as well. All right, you put it around your neck, you clip it, and that's it. You clip it and you zip it. Well, you just check out. You go. That's another way. Okay. Now, yo, so you can do. Uh, you can just tie it yourself. 
Or if you just like, you know, you don't got time to tie it, you can just get a clip on and clip it on and then go about your about your business. Okay. Now understand again, understand the type of um cloth. Let's talk cloth, talk the type of cloth, if it's cotton, if it's wool, if it's linen, whatever the, the type of material, you know, you want to take that in consideration. If it's a polka dot, if it's a solid, if it's a stripe, if it has, you know, skulls and bones, like you take this in consideration, also take in consideration your personality, take in consideration your lady and where you guys are going as well as when the type of bow tie you're going to you're going to wear because you can wear it. You can wear it with a, 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 a blazer. You know, you can wear it without a blazer. You can wear it with a Carnegie sweater. Um, you can wear it with a nice. It's so many different ways you can match it up. But but for the dinner. You know, you want to keep it straight. Uh, you want to make sure that you want to feel comfortable. Your personality is is exuding. Your confidence is exuding. Don't this this your bow tie is just an accessory, so it shouldn't be loud. Okay, it shouldn't take away from everything else. Okay, now because it's so close to your beard, right here, and a lot of times it will touch your beard. Like right now, my bow tie when I have my neck straight like this, it's touching my beard. So what I do is I will um, add beer bomb. Beer bomb is really great. And actually, we have this. This is the um, one ounce beer bomb. We do have the uh, two ounce beer bomb, which is actually bigger. It's called Mr. Bomb. So we do have the two ounce, so it's a whole lot bigger. But that's a whole nother conversation. There's a whole nother video for that. But you want to use a bomb. Don't matter what bomb it is, you want a bomb, okay? And the reason why you want a bomb, because the bomb is much heavier. And then you gotta figure out how heavy the bomb is. In this particular situation, you're wearing a a, 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 a bow tie, you want a heavy bomb. A heavy bomb is gonna help tame, it's gonna help style your beard, it's gonna help keep your beard from, if, especially if you're wearing like a cotton or a wool type of bow tie, that your, your, your beard is not getting caught. Um, not getting caught in the uh, your beard strands is not getting caught into your bow tie. If you're wearing like a cotton or if you're wearing a a, um, a wool or something, uh, so you don't want to make sure you want to make sure that's getting caught. So the beard balm is going to help, if, especially if your beard is a whole lot longer. Uh, longer is going to help tame tame that beard, style that beard, keep it all together. All right, keep it from getting frizzy under here because. Uh, is rubbing against the bow tie. Now, as you can tell, with this particular bow tie, it works with the color, the contrast. White shirt, my, my, my beard is black. See, my beard is black. So the contrast from the white shirt um, really be able to bring out um, the bow tie and the beard. And you just have to work with work with that. That's, an, that's another thing. Um, and it's, it's very distinguished. It's very classy. Um, it's a very classic look. Now, when you are, um, so make sure you take all that in consideration. Color, the cloth, you know, different patterns you want to take in consideration. The contrast of it, how it's going to contrast off of the, the button-up shirt, how it's going to contrast uh, off of the whole entire, um, outfit that you're putting together, the, the particular type of date for this Valentine's, you want to make sure that there's a, that it fits everything. It's this, this it's synchronized. It's, it's everything's in sync. All right. You don't want it to be loud. It is a conversational piece. Okay. So it's an accessory piece. So you don't want it to be out, be loud, but you would, what you wanted to do is to compliment your beard, compliment your whole attire and what you're putting on, as well as you want to show your lady um, whomever you're going on your Valentine's with, you want to show them how important they are and how important the, that moment is, um, to sp that time that you're spending with them. And wearing a bow tie does a, uh, will est will establish that. So that's the bow ties there. Now you got your bow ties, you got your fit. Um, you know what you're gonna wear, how you're gonna smell. This is very very important. This is very very important. Now we've grown up. And as we've grown up, a lot of us have grown up without fathers. Or if we have grown up without fathers, our fathers have only taught us what their fathers have, have taught them. And, and typically, when it comes to male grooming, um, 
when it comes to male grooming, we don't, we never really got that. Well, at least I never really got that from my father. My father was, he didn't really come around to the latter half of my development. And by that time out, my development was pretty much, um, as far as me just going from a, a, a baby, a toddler, an adolescent and so on and so forth. So I didn't really get the foundation. I didn't get the teaching. I had to go and find out on my own. I had to go watch and observe other people and how they began to, um, groom themselves and I had to put it all together myself. One thing in particular was cologne. Now, uh, I know that a lot of fragrances that I receive, a lot of cologne fragrances, I, I, I was raised by my mom. So of course I got everything from my mom. And typically my mom would get fragrances because if she was dating someone at that particular time and she liked what they smell, how they smell, she would get it for, for us. Now, these type of colognes smell really well. They were alcohol-based colognes, however, and they were strong, a very strong, hit-you-in-the-nose fragrance. It's like if you're walking in Macy's or you're walking in Nordstrom's, if you're walking in Bernie's, wherever, and you walk into the perfume cologne section, it's just potent and you, allergies and it's all over the place. Well, these, these, these alcohol-based colognes um, have... Uh, uh, the thing you have to understand about them is that one, they're alcohol based. Anytime you apply alcohol, alcohol is absorbing the moisture from your skin. It's not adding moisture to your, to your skin. It's absorbing the moisture, which then hence you have dry skin. So what I will, what I would recommend you to do, you going on this date is you want to get a oil based cologne. Here's our Mr. Cologne. Um, that we have you can get it actually with the when you get your um this is a great Valentine's gift too when you get your man up uh, toiletry bag men's toiletry bag here it comes with it all right it comes with it for free so you'll get this um for free your men's oil base so we only sell it right now you only can get it with the men's toiletry bag all right so this is what you want to get you want to grab that uh, it matches. Hmm, what a quinkity. Anyhow, see, this is what you want. Now, the thing about uh, oil-based cologne is this. We were taught to spray cologne all over our clothes, okay? But cologne or, or fragrance, whatever, is meant to be sprayed on your body to mix with your pheromones. It's not made, created to spray on your clothes, okay? With oil-based cologne, you're applying this on your body. So it's going to mix, mix with your pheromones. One, it's an oil base, So it's going to help keep your skin moisturized and it's going to moisturize your skin. It's not, and it doesn't have this potent, hit you in the nose smell. When you're wearing any type of cologne, um, the thing about oil-based cologne is that anytime you're wearing cologne, anyone who's two feet, one feet away shouldn't be, shouldn't, shouldn't smell what you have on. If somebody's in the other room, they shouldn't be able to smell what you have on. Someone should, your lady, whomever that is, only people should know what you have on is when they get close to your neck, when they get close into this area, this, this zone, your space right here, then they should be able to smell your fragrance and smell how it makes with your pheromones. That should be the, so that's the only time they should be able to smell, smell that, okay? Now, Another thing is that it doesn't have any harsh chemicals. The thing about oil-based cologne is that it doesn't have any harsh harsh chemicals versus alcohol-based. They have they there is some harsh chemicals. There's alcohol in it, and there's other a variety of other uh, toxic chemicals that's in it that has an adverse effect to your body. Okay, because it's going to seep into your pores, which is going to seep into your your bloodstream. Another thing with oil-based cologne is that. As your body temperature rises, which our body temperature does rises, um, the the smell of the oil-based cologne, you begin to smell it a little bit more because the temperature of your body increases, okay? So another thing about it is that it does mix well in your skin. So it's going to dissolve into your skin very, very well. Um, and then as well as Another thing about it is that it doesn't have that many ingredients in it. There's no fillers like alcohol-based cologne, uh, no toxic chemicals. Uh, in this one in particular, you have uh, co coconut oil, you have um, 
char uh, charcoal, uh, bay rum, etc., etc. All these are just oils, oil-based cologne. All right, and on, not only that, but it sustains a whole lot longer without it being powerful. Have you ever had someone who had a cologne on and you got a headache and it went up your nose? That is crazy to me. You know, you don't want to be loud when you're wearing cologne. That's not the proper way to put on cologne. Cologne should be a you need it. You know, I would advise with alcohol. Yeah, I know there's expensive colognes. But you can go get a Tom Ford. You can go get an alcohol-based Tom Ford for $200, $300, right? But they're hiring. They have a higher end, a whole other uh, upper echelon. Their Ralph Lauren purple label, they have a, a an oil-based collection. And that's, one, it's, it's a small size and it's super expensive. Why? Because they understand the value. That's the value of the oil base um the, the oil based cologne um because it has a lot more benefits than just you smelling good okay so when you're applying um the oil base and you only need a little bit again you just need a little bit you just put it on this here you can also put it on because it's an oil base you can also put it on your skin i mean you know on your beard with dust on your skin so it won't have no toxic toxic chemicals any alcohol that's going to uh, dry your skin out um also, when you're spraying on cologne, when you spray cologne, alcohol base on your clothes, you're messing up the fibers of your of your cloth. You know, you're messing up your cloth when you're putting on alcohol. You're messing up your cloth. You can't mess your cloth up, right? You know, you're going to throw your whole swag off. So now you're spraying it on your clothes and it's staining your clothes as well. So you don't put alcohol base. You're not spraying it, I mean, on your clothes. If you're going to use alcohol-based cologne, spray it on your body. All right. In fact, if you want to do something else, here's a tip. Here's a trick. Take some oil, some oil, put the oil on, then spray the alcohol on. All right. You know, that's a little trick if you if if you want to go a that route, if you know, but you're going to you're going to double up. You don't have to double up if you just go ahead and, and snatch you up a, 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 a oil based cologne. It's all in one. All right. Now, that's what you want to wear. You know, when you're going your Valentine's Day and you guys get close, she's going to smell it. You know, your partner definitely is going to smell it and they're going to be, um, um, they're going to be, their eyes are going to pop up like, wow, you smell good. Like that's, it just gives them another level. It's just, a, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's, it's, it makes it more interesting because initially it was like, I saw you initially, you got the bow tie, you got, you looking nice, you looking um, uh, uh, distinguished. It, it's, a, it's a great time. It's a great moment. And then she gets close to you and then she's able to smell your, um, then she, then, then you add another layer to it and she smelled, she gets so, she, she didn't, she was far enough. She couldn't smell it until she got close to you. Right. And then she began to smell your fragrance and it's not strong. It's not powerful. It's not pop hitting her in the, in the nose. Like, Whoa, you know, it's just way too much. No, it's it's nice, it's settled, it goes with your pheromones, it's a great mix, and she it's pleasant, it's a pleasant smell. It's not a it's a rich, pleasant smell. It's not a, a funky, you know, odor, no matter what. Now, some people are like, oh well, my alcohol based cologne lasts long. It smells, yeah, but it's still alcohol. And there's a lot more ingredients in there that creates that whole recipe. So it's not good for your skin. It's not good for the longevity of your skin. Okay. So understand that you got to kind of weigh out the benefits, you know, when you're applying things on your body, you know, cause you're going to get a natural, you're going to get a, re a reaction with oil base. It's natural. It's a natural. So you're putting a natural product on your natural skin. If you take your alcohol based cologne, you're putting it on, you're putting on something that's unnatural onto your natural body. I'm not a scientist. Only thing I'm just saying is, I mean, I took science, took science class. Natural, natural, you mix together. Unnatural, unnatural. It's never, it never was a great mix. But again, it's your prerogative what you want to do. You can't pick up the the uh, can't pick up the cologne, um, the oil based cologne um, at BlackMen'sGroomingDen.com. I'm gonna put the link at the bottom. But it, it, the only way you're gonna be able to get it is with the toiletry bag. All right. So remember that. Also, with the toilet drag comes a, little, a, a, a host of other things. The Mr. Scrub. You want to make sure you get your skin right. That's another thing. Before you go out, get your skin right. 
I'm out here talking. Get your skin right. You know, get your Mr. Scrub and exfoliate. Make sure you got the, your skin is bright. Your skin is, is really nice, you know. And then moisturize it. You got the Mr. Mister. You can put this on your, apply this on your beard. I know I got this. It's all ghetto probably in the bag. But I ain't taking it out of the bag. Keep it there. Your Mr. Mister is going to, you can spread on your um, beard. You can use it to help moisturize and cleanse your skin as well. It gives your skin that moisture. Um, I'm, and you use those three things. That night you go out, I'm telling you, there's going to be a difference. She's going to be like, wow, your skin looks really good. And men, women have a whole nother respect for a man who takes care of their skin. It gives them a sense of this man here, uh, 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 um, he's important. He feels that he's important enough to take care of himself. And if he feels enough that he's important to take care of himself, I know that I feel comfortable and safe with him because if he respects himself that much to take care of himself and keep himself up, I know he will respect me enough and, and take care of me in a sense of she feels secure and safe in the relationship. All right. So that's just what it is. You know, that's just what it is. Listen, if you got questions, your comments at the bottom. Um, also, subscribe. Um, not only subscribe to the channel, but I got, I'm going to put my, um, get on my mailing list. Cause I'm going to have uh, different, uh, I'm going to be giving out different um, uh, 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 prizes, things of that nature. So you can qualify for different prizes that we have. Um, may throw in the, may, may give away the Mr. Uh, oil-based cologne for Valentine's, you know, the, the bomb, the Mr. Scrub, what about Mr. Scrub, Mr. Scrub, Mr. Scrub, the Mr. Scrub as well, may give that away, all right, so make sure you guys get on the mailing list, I'm putting that link right at the bottom, get on the mailing list, it's important, all right, fellas, listen, this is your boy B with the beard, as always, I'm out.